So it is 12 o'clock, midnight. You know what that means? I am 19 today! Yep, it's my birthday. Pretty excited about it. And yeah, so far this day has been pretty awesome. I went to lunch with my mom, and we had a nice little lunch, and came home, relaxed, went to the bookstore, got some books at the Borders closing sale, which is really, really sad because Borders is going to be no more, and I will never be able to go back. <sighs> really, really sucks. But I made the most of it and got 11 books, so I got a book haul for you. So let's get this started. The first book I got was uh, Exit Here by Jason Myers. And this is basically about a guy who is sort of kind of lost in his life and he feels kind of left out and he feels like he may need to kill himself. So it sounds like a really, really deep, dark book. And um, I'm looking forward to reading it even though it is, it is a really, really touchy subject. and. It's going to be hard to read. I'm pretty sure I'm going to probably cry in it or something. Maybe, probably. I just finished reading his other book, Dead End, and that was phenomenal. So I'm really, really excited to read this one. I'm also really excited to read The Mission, which I also got. And this one's about a guy whose brother dies in Iraq. And um, he goes to live with his cousin. And he starts learning secrets about his family that he never knew about, obviously. And it sounds, again, like a really, really dark book. And Jason Myers is such a great author. Uh, he really, really knows how to convey emotions and characters, and he doesn't sugarcoat anything. Let's just say that. He doesn't sugarcoat anything, and I admire him for that. The next book I got is Speak by Lori Hall Sanderson. Yes, I finally got this book after so long of waiting and waiting. And I'm, the biggest reason why I got this book, besides Lori Hall Sanderson being a phenomenal author, is because a girl... Um, one of my friends, Jess, on YouTube, it's Beauty Equals Hate. She posted a video about this, and some guy tried to ban it because it, they thought it was about prostitution or whatever, and it was all freaking stupid. If you want to, you can look at the video. I'll put a link annotation to that video and in the description as well. Um, but that really pissed me off and made me want to get this book even more because I hate people that try to ban books and try to keep people ignorant about these sorts of topics. The next book I got is Parrotfish by Ellen Whitlinger. And this is another one of those books that people would probably try to ban because, you know, they're stupid homophobes that don't agree with freedom of rights, you know, that kind of thing. And it's about a girl who decides she wants to become a guy and she becomes shunned by her family and friends. So this sounds really, really, really dark, and just, I feel like this is going to be a really, really thought-provoking novel, so I'm excited to read this. I saw that Melissa got this in one of her hauls, and she hasn't done a review on it yet, but I want to read it really, really soon, because I'm a bi big supporter of, you know, gay rights and people's rights, rights of everyone, um, basically, fight for what you believe in, that sort of thing. I'm a strong believer of that, so I got this. The next book I got is Invisible Monsters. No. Wow. Invisible Summer by Hannah Moskowitz with the totally, totally sexy cover. But despite the cover, it's actually, I've heard, a really, really dark book. So um, it, it looks really, really good. I'm excited to read this. Melissa really, really loved this book. I will also link her review to this book if you want to check it out. Check out Melissa, by the way. She's awesome. Then I got Going Bovine by Libba Bray, and this book sounds really, really, really crazy. Um, I wasn't going to get it at first, but after watching Melissa's review again, and I think Priscilla also loved this book, so a lot of love for this book. So I had to get it because it was popular. And it just sounds really, really weird and quirky and, I don't know, kind of kind of weird. But it, it um, Little Bray did make me laugh already. Like, I read the acknowledgments, and the acknowledgments were funny. So I'm excited to read this one. Now on to the hardcovers. I got Falling for Hamlet by Michelle Ray. And this one is a retelling of Hamlet, a modern retelling of Hamlet. And it's told through Ophelia's points of view, and I feel like this will either be a an amazing, amazing book or a horrible book. So, kind of could go either way. But what's really, really cool is that this book has a misprint. Um, it's printed, the spine is printed upside down, and I know that because if you open it up, the words are right side up. So, it's printed upside down. That's that's just, that's just cool to me. I feel like. This is going to be worth something, maybe, if this book becomes extremely popular, since this is a first printing and the debut novel of a new author. So, 
excited. The next book I got is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. And again, this is one of those books that is really, really um, controversial. It's about a girl that falls in love with her brother and the effects of what happens after that. And it sounds really, really unique and interesting. I've never read a book like this in YA before. So I'm really, really glad that they actually, you know, wrote a book and published it in the YA genre because you don't really get to see much about this. And it just sounds like a really, really good book. I've heard great things from Kaiza, who you can check her channel out too in the description. And just sending a lot of love today to all my, all my awesome friends on YouTube. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to read this one. And I love this cover so much. So, so much. I love the red. It just... And the barbed wire heart is just awesome. Then I got Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. And this book is basically um, about a girl that's living in World War II. Uh, it's historical fiction. And um, it sounds really, really, really deep and thought-provoking and, and really sad as well. Um, and I've heard really good things about this from Melissa and Leanne. So... I'm excited to read this one, even though it's it's really, really heavy, and I just, I feel like I'm going to cry when I read this book, um, kind of like The Book Thief, but um, this looks really, really good, though, and I love this cover. If you ever get the chance to actually feel it, it feels so nice, and it has a weird, weird texture to it, um, but it's, it's cool. I really like the cover. It's beautiful. And then I got Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, and to be perfectly honest, I wasn't going to get this book. Um, because I'm not, I wasn't the biggest fan of City of Bones. I, I liked it, but I just, I, it didn't really capture me that much. Um, so I've heard that this one's a lot, lot better. So I'm hoping that's the case. And I also wanted to get this before it came out in paperback because I prefer hardcover. Um, so I'm excited to have it in hardcover, and the sequel to this is coming out in December, so that's awesome. Also, I uh, looked at this book earlier, and I thought that the spine had pink letters. Is it pink and gold? Because mine has gold letters, and I thought that one that I looked at earlier, a while ago actually, had pink letters on the spine. So let me know if yours has pink letters or gold letters. I don't know if, that's, if that means anything. I don't know. And then finally, the last book and biggest book that I got. I'm so excited for this one. The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my god. Do you see how massive this book is? Oh my god. And it's so freaking... Like, it's, it's Edgar Allan Poe. It's Edgar freaking Allan Poe. And yeah, I love Poe so, so much. And I'm so happy to have his complete works. And it's so big and beautiful. And I just, I'm so happy to have this in my collection because... It's bigger than my head, and I just love Poe. I love that there's a raven on the cover, the spine, and on the back right there on the O, right there. I think that's awesome. And then the background, you can't really probably see it, but there's a skull in the background, which is just so, so awesome. I am so excited. So that's my book haul. And also, my big birthday present this year is my uh, a new bookshelf. And you all know what that means. Bookshelf tour! I don't know when it will be though because I haven't gotten it yet. It'll probably come like sometime this week. So maybe next week or sometime down the road I'll have a bookshelf tour coming up but not like anytime soon. I'm gonna wait and you know get it all organized and beautiful and then show you my bookshelf tour. Oh I'm so excited! So yeah so far this birthday is awesome. I'm going to go and have a little party with my parents and have dinner and have cake, ice cream cake. Awesome. I'm excited. This is a great, great day. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.